you know, out of our first 16 possessions, 11 of them were Fs, you know? I don't know any courses that you're passing if you get 11 Fs in your first 16 grades. And had half those been good possessions, now you're in the game and now when you make your run, it could be different results. And our answer was just break away and let's do it ourselves. And we're, we don't have those kind of players. We're not that kind of team. We have to make each other better for us to be a good team and we will. Hmm. Fun fact, did you know that Leon Rice used to be a substitute teacher? It's safe to say that Coach Rice was less than pleased with the offensive effort the last time his team was on the floor. Against UC Irvine last Friday, the Broncos shot just 31% from the field in a nine point loss. Tonight, Coach Rice and company were back at it against BYU. Former Rocky Mountain standout Colby Lee playing in front of the hometown crowd for BYU. We pick it up in the first. Derek Alston on the attack. He gets the layup to go. Boise State overcame slow shooting to start, and they led 27-20 at the half. On to the second we go. The Broncos now up nine, but not for long because the Cougars respond with an 11-0 run. Big Kolbs facilitating that bucket, but back comes BSU led by Alston. He puts the Broncos back out in front here. Moments later, another local kid, this one playing for the blue and orange. BK alumnus Max Rice buries the big three. There were 15 lead changes in this contest with under four minutes to go now. Boise State down one. Alston again, he had a game high 26 points. Then Justinian Jessup was huge down the stretch. He had all nine of his points in the closing minutes and overtime. The Broncos pick up a big win, 72-68 in OT. Wow, what a game. Earlier in the evening, Boise State's women's basketball team. We go to the next highlights, I think. Maybe not. Okay, there it is. Uh, they were taking on the Cougars, but these ones traveled from Pullman. They fell behind by 13. I'm talking about the Broncos at halftime, so they were forced to play catch up in the third. Riley Looper connects from behind the arc. Moments later, Rachel Bauer squares her shoulders and shows off her mid range game. On to the fourth quarter we go. Jade Lavelle cuts into the deficit again. Boise State would get to within 10 points. Midway through the fourth quarter, that's as close the as they lane. would get. Left they fall tonight, 80-68 well. the final.